okay so oneplus do remember that they launched oneplus 9 rt because they have started rolling out android 12 aka oxygen os 12.1 for oneplus 9 rt and okay jokes apart we have a great news for oneplus 9 rt users so finally oneplus have started rolling out oxygen os 12.1 for this device so in this video let's quickly take a look at all the new features what oneplus have added so without wasting any more time let's get started here we have our oneplus 9 rt first let me show you the software information by going to about section so if you take a look at android version android version is 12 and we do get security patch of 5th june 2022 talking about version version is c.03 for oneplus 9 rt and we have few users who initially installed close beta on their oneplus 9 rt so if you guys now willing to install open beta on your device first what you have to do is you need to downgrade your device so all the downgrade links and oxygen os 12.1 open beta links can be found in the description below just downgrade using oneplus local update application and the same way you have to update your device and guys i've got a good feedback about oneplus 9 rt running oxygen os 12.1 many of my friends who have oneplus 9 rt they told me the performance and everything seems to be really good on oneplus 9 rt with oxygen os 12 the only thing which they don't like is that it's based on color os code base but that is what it is we have to accept the change but overall as per their experience device seems to be doing super with oxygen os 12.1 first let me show you the benchmark results so as always we do benchmark testing with geekbench application and to and later we also do cpu throttling test so here with single core my oneplus 9 rt have scored 774 and with multi-core device have scored 3399 with Antutu benchmark application, scores are 7,5258. Using CPU throttling test application, average GIPs were good enough and the max CPU throttled 89%. We did not see any kind of dips in the graph too. If you guys want to try out Oxygen OS 12.1 on your OnePlus 9 RT, then you can go ahead. And if you are the one who wants to know more about it, then wait for an in-depth review in which I'll cover almost everything like camera segment, battery part and the stability part. So stay tuned for that. And guys, before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we still have 82 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video okay so if you are a oneplus 9 rt user so you guys must be aware about the changes done because oneplus 9 rt came with oxygen os 11.3 which also had the color os code base so there are some changes done with oxygen os 12.1 let's quickly take a look at them now one thing you guys will notice after the update of android 12 on oxygen os 12 or 12.1 haptic feedback is way better compared to the previous build and for oneplus 9 rt specifically for oneplus 9 rt brightness algorithm is a lot improved now so basically most of you guys must be aware about all the new features for example color os launcher what we get on oxygen os 12.1 though oneplus 9 rt came with the same launcher pre-installed after that another major change what you guys gonna notice under display is newly added dark mode which comes with this three different modes medium gentle and enhance almost every oneplus user had the complaint about the dark mode present on oneplus smartphones which used to be something like this grayish color but now if you want to have the pitch dark theme you can choose the enhance mode and we also have an adaptive contrast mode which automatically adjusts the screen contrast according to the ambient lighting condition and we have the option to access shelf from the right top corner wherein oneplus have also done few changes like they have added the earphone control card so i personally don't have the oneplus earphones but if you have then you can see your buds battery status and other information in the shelf also scout feature have been added in the oneplus shelf which was previously available on oneplus smartphone in the app drawer and most of the time oneplus shelf gets triggered when you try to pull down the notification panel so if you guys are not liking this feature you can anytime turn it off from the shelf setting then they have also updated the gallery application which now supports switching between different layouts with two finger pinch out and pinch in feature and the new version of gallery application intelligently recognize the best quality picture and crop them for the thumbnail part talking about the another feature which is related to canvas aod so here oneplus have updated the canvas aod feature which can be found in the personalization section from here going to always on display section and from this section you can set canvas aod 2.0 so let me select an picture 
tap on generate and now you can see we have lot many other options to customize the canvas AOD. We do get the option to erase few extra things which are present in the background. So accordingly you can do that and also there are other options to choose between the colors and styles. So I guess this is the newer version of Canvas AOD which isn't present on other OnePlus smartphones running Oxygen OS 12. We also have the updated version of work-life balance. So I basically I don't use this mode. So if you guys are the one who have used then I'm sure that you guys might find this update of work-life balance useful in your daily life. Camera, all the functionalities are working. OnePlus says they have improved the zoom in and zoom out effects while recording a video, but I still found bit of jitters while using these effects and haven't seen much of improvements compared to Oxygen OS 11. For the camera performance, you guys can wait for my complete review. And at last, now let's also talk about the gaming part. So with 12.1, you guys must be aware that we do get the feature called Hyperboost technology feature on OnePlus smartphones for the gaming stuff, which stabilizes the frame rate and can be helpful to maintain the stability while gaming. But still, being a flagship device, we don't get to see 90 fps support yet on oneplus 9rt so here you can see the graphic settings for smooth graphics we only have extreme option which can only give you maximum output of 60 fps so this is again a drawback and i seriously don't understand oneplus made this device for gaming part they initially hyped that cooling chamber thing and the touch sampling rate but still they haven't provided the 90 fps option so guys this was a quick overview of the latest update for oneplus 9 rt which is based on android 12 aka oxygen os 12.1 just wait for two three days i'll use this device as my primary phone and i'll come up with a complete in-depth review because right now even i'm not sure how stable it is to be used as daily driver so guys as of now only this much in this video I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.